Does turning a compost pile make it cooler or heat it up? It actually does both. We'll get to that on today's short episode of Coffee and Compost. My name is Steve Churchill, and this is the Urban Warm Company. A YouTube subscriber got in touch this week and he was hoping to use windrows to pre-compost yard trimmings and wood chips to help feed his vermicomposting operation. He wanted to make sure that his compost stayed aerobic, but was worried that turning the pile to keep it aerobic would cool it down too much. So he had a bit of a misconception about how composting works. Best practices and composting regulations dictate that a windrow needs to be turned multiple times within the first few weeks of the hot composting process. This ensures an even distribution of carbon and nitrogen within the pile, and it ensures that the material on the outside of the pile gets exposed to the hottest temperatures inside the pile. And yes, in the very short term, turning a pile does dissipate heat as the hot stuff on the inside gets turned to the outside. But what turning does is reoxygenate the pile and give it structure again by essentially lifting up the material and setting it back down again. It kind of fluffs up the pile. Now the benefit of the immediate reoxygenation is actually lost after the first few hours after the turn. Those microbes quickly consume whatever oxygen got pumped into the pile by the turn. But by basically fluffing the pile and giving it structure again, the turning process created pore space in the mix, which allows oxygen to passively enter the material. All right, real quick guys, if you're enjoying this video and want me to make more of them, please like this video, hit subscribe, and click that little bell to let you know every time we release a new video. All right, now back to the topic. This added oxygen wakes up the thermophilic microbes that get back to work heating up the pile, typically causing even higher temperatures than the pile had before the turn. So if you look at the actual temperatures of a turn windrow over time, you're not gonna see this smooth rise and eventual decline in temperatures. You're actually gonna see more of a jagged pattern with multiple peaks after the multiple turns. This doesn't last forever though. As the pile nears the end of its active composting phase, the available energy in the pile has been cooked out and the pile starts cooling. So turning the pile will dissipate the heat, but the pile won't now recover to its old high temperatures. For those of us who are vermicomposters, this is when we generally consider the compost safe enough to feed our worms without worrying about cooking them to death. It takes about four to six weeks to get to the end of this active phase where the temps start declining. Guys, I've got an awesome resource for you to download right now. It's the PDF version of our ultimate guide to vermicomposting, where we cover anything from the basics of vermicomposting, how to start and maintain a worm bin, the financial opportunities in vermicomposting, and more. Just click this little link above my left shoulder and you can sign up to get that guide immediately. So yes, turning a pile can definitely cool it off in the short term, but in the early stages of a compost pile, turning it can help light up the temperatures and get the pile cooking at even higher temperatures than before. All right, that's it. We'll see you on the next video.